Hello. Right, hi. Um, yeah, we wanted to do a quick video uh, to show you about how we keep our stuff cold because people are talking about fridges and and loads of different ways and this is what works for us. Um, so I'm going to ask side questions uh, because I, I was interested in it as well because I was so it was size choice I looked into it before I come along and said it worked for him so when we built this this van together uh, it was his choice so Sai why why did you choose to uh, well do you want to explain your setup that you've got well I'll tell you why I've got it yeah uh, I looked at it uh, we only had when I first set up a minimum amount of gas, so a three-way fridge wasn't a, a goer really. We, we weren't hooked up enough, and when it's on 12 volts, it's not that uh, efficient. Uh, it seems like the, the the best way is a 12 volt compressor fridge. That's That seems to be like the gold standard, the best way of, of doing it. But that's not this, is it? This is a freezer, isn't no. it? No. So, that's something that I couldn't afford because of that expensive. So I, so I had a look to see if there was a way of doing it cheaply, and uh, I found this on uh, an off-grid for. I've not found it on YouTube to be honest. Uh, so, but this is how I've done it. Uh, I've took a. We bought a freezer. A freezer. It's, it's not it's a, a fridge. It's a. Yeah, it's a tabletop freezer. And why did you choose a freezer and not a fridge? Uh, freezers uh, are, have better insulation uh, just because they need to keep a, a lower temperature and they need to hold it for a longer period of time. So a, a, a freezer is the, is the best way of doing it. A chest freezer is the ideal way of doing it, but because of Space. Space, yeah. Uh, I, I've not been able to do that. So we've just got a tabletop uh, freezer and adapted it. So the way it works is uh, we've got solar, which has... Uh, yeah, because the, this, this freezer that we've got is just out of we got that from, was it Argos? Curry's. Oh, Curry's. we got it from Curry's, but oh. we've got one in Argos, they've had one in Aldi. Yeah, the, ch the cheapest we found was £60. Right. So, when we were looking. Yeah. And we needed it quick, so that was a good one. Yeah. 60 quid. So, our setup is... And that's brand new. Yeah. <laughs> so, our, our, our electric setup in, in this vehicle is uh, got a 220 amp hour uh, ledger battery, We've got solar split charger. Which solar have we got? It's, what is it? Two, 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 100, two watt. 100 watt panels um, that feed the one leisure battery. battery. Yeah. Uh, and really, all that, well, it supplies all, all uh, electricity. We're on full 240 in here now. Uh, so, yeah, so we can, we have like, we've got a shaver, haven't you? things like that and we can plug it into yeah, our uh, uh, plug uh, sockets every, every, everything we we use on on the old van it was it was a split between 240 and 12 volt uh but i found that i was just using the 240 so i just went for that this time so what Bing. all right yeah so there we go so we, we've got 240 system yeah. and you, you've got solar panels, two 200 watt solar panels, the yeah. electric is going down into the, battery. The, the leisure battery and it comes up into the solar box. Oh no, it goes, it, the, the panels go into the, it's probably another video. Well, we'll go into it major, but I just wanted to explain yeah. it to someone who might want to Yeah, so the, pan the, the, the panels go into the charge controller, the charge controller goes to the battery and then uh, our feed comes straight out of the battery into the fuse, the, a fuse box, fuse box and then from the fuse box uh, to the inverter. We've got a, a thousand, thousand watt, watt inverter yeah. 
uh, that's really good attack. A thousand watt for no other reason than it works. It was the cheapest that I made it at. I'm sure that I couldn't. You have did done. look at some others and you were like, you did read a lot of reviews as well, didn't you, before you bought that one? Yeah. It wasn't pot luck. No, that, but that's. Because uh, some dodgy Chinese imports are well, terrible, but this this particular one that you did there was reviews. great reviews because um, you'd studied it a few days and you bought that. What I was what I was looking for this time was uh, something that wasn't soft star. Yeah. Due to due to the noise that uh, that the soft star has. When uh, you get a soft soft star inverter, um, nice and peaceful and quiet like now, and then all of a sudden it goes like that, which isn't so bad during the day, but you know when you're trying to get your kip at night, and all of a sudden you've got something giving it some instead of just the fridge well the freezer uh, starting up it's like whoa <laughs> so you, you changed it didn't you this time so that now it just it's just there isn't it it's good why i think we're going on about the uh, electrics rather than no we're meant to all right okay we've got this little bit out then well no but we're, we're meant to tell them because if, if, if like I didn't know, yeah, but yeah. and all of it's relevant to how okay. the fridge works, because okay. that is, the freeze is the biggest drain on the electric, isn't it? Yeah. So when that kicks in, and how it works, depending the way the thermostat works, um, all of a sudden there's a drain, and the drain will kick off your soft start thing, uh, and it, it drives you mad. So you chose... A non soft start one. A non soft start. Uh, and it's, uh, I have to say, it's, it, has, it is great. It is a great inverter. So we have benefited from that because the old one was a problem because of the fridge. So that's why it fits right. in. So, so you plug in your fridge. Well, you plugged in your freezer. And how does it not freeze our food? Right. I have to say, yeah. I'm not an electrician. Yeah. Uh, and um, this isn't a, it will invalidate your, uh, warranty, or your warranty on your, on your freezer. Uh, and this is what works for us. Uh, we said that at the beginning. Yeah. I mean, the people want to know what works yeah. for us, not what is going to invalidate. Right. So, well, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just clearing myself there. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if you try it, it's, you try it. It works for me. Oh, this is exactly what we have and you've had it running for the last two years two in years, the other yeah. bus and um, this has and been this... running for a few months in this bus yeah. and we've not got a problem apart from the soft start inverter which, which is now got. changed so we've now got this so basically it's a fridge freezer and the power supply for it is run by a separate uh, thermostatic switch we're going to take it out and show them how it works. Or are you just going to do it all on? Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll stop the video and then, yeah, I'll stop it because I don't know if you know watching me now. I'm starting to learn these things. And I'll bring you over here and we'll watch side down there on the floor. <laughs> we on? Yeah, we're on. Sorry, I just took a picture instead of videoed. Right, so this is the tabletop freezer and this is how it's connected up. So you've got the the plug, obviously the plug lead that comes with it. Now you break into it, into the plug lead, and you take off the feed from the plug that goes into the uh, thermostatic switch. So that's permanently live so as long as that's plugged in this is live and that means that this sensor will work when this sensor uh, and where does the sensor go so the sensor goes in I'll show you that when the sensor reaches the preset temperatures that I put on it right it then it comes on or goes off so it's this is live this is the lead and this is the thermostatic probe I can't see, see. I do got your arm there you go. Yeah. It's that Thermostatic little. Probe. Yeah. So if you if you go to this, what I'll do is just to speed it up so you can actually see. 
uh, what happens, uh, I'll hold it and that'll warm it up straight away. So when it gets to 6.5 degrees C, it comes on, so the power comes. So it electronically switches and the power comes back down into the power supply for the freezer, which obviously I've broken here. So that's all it is, it's just a switch. So this is live permanently. Whenever this gets to the temperatures that I've set it at, uh, it allows the power to then go through. So uh, I've set it at 6.5 to come on. So as it gets up to 6.5, it allows the power to pass through. And then when it gets down to 3.5 degrees, uh, it cuts the power off. Uh, the reason I've done that is, that, again, it's trial and error. I, I, I had a look at it and I could see I'd set it lower and what happened was it carries the coolant carries on circulating around the around the freezer even though the motor's not running uh, and it was taking it down below freezing which obviously means that if you've got salad in there or something that freezes and it damages that so i've set it at 3.5 so it does carry on cooling but it normally only gets down to about one degree and before it starts warming back up again uh, i have timed it uh, under normal use it uh, cycles about once an hour and the actual freezer comes on for three minutes that's, so that's three minutes to get it down from 6.5 down to 3.5 and the power goes off and that means that the freezer then becomes a fridge yeah that's it so this 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 external thermostat makes controls the power to it so that makes this freezer yep. a fridge okay uh, like I say, it's, it is dead straightforward. It's I think anyone with basic DIY skills can do, uh, and it's it's worked for us. When it's warm, uh, obviously it'll cycle uh, uh, a bit faster, you know, because uh, the, uh, the ambient temperature means that, that stuff in here will will warm up. But what you find is when it's warmer, it's sunnier, so your your power supply is you know being topped up quicker. And then when it's cooler, uh, there you go, it's just reached 3.5 and the power's uh, cut out. Cut out. Uh, yeah, when it's cooler, it obviously doesn't grow as much and you probably, you know, probably won't have as much light. Uh, and at night, because it's cooler, it, it cycles uh, a lot less. Uh, but yeah, this is this is what's, what's worked for us. And um, we're off grid, so we we don't, we don't ever, we, plug we in. ever plug in. We have we have no means of plugging in. We can't, yeah. The, we haven't built anything in to plug into. Um, yeah, so everything's off grid. We camp while camp. Uh, we just have one battery, don't we? Yeah. Um, and that's it, really. Well, the two hundred watts sun. that we said earlier, and the sun. So, yeah, but it works in Portugal. Works in Spain, works in France, and it's in the UK. Uh, it works in the UK, yeah. even in winter. Yeah. So, try to think if there's anything else that we need to mention, really. Uh, one thing was uh, I have I have seen when they've been using it, they have drilled through the sides, so right. the probes permanently in and siliconed it. Yeah. I didn't do that because uh, I wasn't confident to know where exactly where the, the you know. Well, if it ain't broke. The, the where the, the the coolant uh, yeah, was, it's was fine running. with that going so, through isn't yeah, it it just goes it just goes through the door seal on the other one it, it ran from the other side but it just depends where you mount it and which yeah, way your door is, is yeah, yeah. <laughs> um yeah is there anything else though that no, folk no, need I, to know how about you were saying about getting if someone wants to buy one of those at the thermostatic switches uh i would look today uh I got mine off eBay and they start at, I've seen them from like £3 up to about £5. Uh, so and it, there's a different, there's three different yeah, ones. There's three different ones, there's a 12 volt, uh, 24 volt and the 220 volt which is mains obviously. So uh, just ne you need to, depending on how you're going to do it. Yeah, our setup's ma mains. It's mains, so, it's, uh, so ours is a, a, a 220 volt one. But if you had a 12 volt set up? Now, that's another question. Is which, it? Which, 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 which I won't go to because, uh, yeah, that, that means going to your 
inverter. So, right. Uh, and that's uh, I did try that, but I couldn't get I couldn't get that to work. But I think that was me. Right. Rather than the system that I was running. Right. Or my lack of electrical knowledge, because at that stage I had a soft start inverter, so I thought that the inverter soft starting was there wasn't enough power to to run it. I now know that that's how soft start inverters work, so they don't put a massive draw okay. on the battery. So that's now dropping to drop down right to 1.5 and it seems to be coming back up again. 1.9, 1.2, right, okay, yeah, so which is uh, fairly normal. Like I say, it's just set so uh, it, it is trial and error and you know what I mean, if you try this, it might be different. Yeah, I'll... but you've set that up, it is at 3.5 that it shuts off, but don't panic when it goes further Pretty down bad. That's because it, it, does. it just does. That's why I've set it at 3.5 because after watching it, I could see that I'd set it lower and it was going down and starting to freeze. Uh, so, which was why I picked the temperature up so that. Uh, so, it, for us, 3.5 is what works. After trial and error. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with high insight, 3.5 yeah. was a good one. Yeah. Uh, so, it's always try to keep it between what yeah. we use 3.5 and 6.5 yeah and it's the, and it is it, i mean it's got that it's got the hours it comes with instructions uh but i i went onto youtube you know just on youtube and, and found a tutorial on it and it was it's, it is dead easy to set up and like i said to him we might do it but at the moment we're, we're living we're living in it time, so. yeah yeah so so good um yeah. Any uh, any it, questions? It, if you got any questions? Yeah, drop us a line at, or add a comment. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, if if you've got you've got another way of doing it, share it. Yeah. Please share it. It's like say that this is. I've found that a lot of a bumps into loads of uh, off-grid people. And Everyone's really, asking us about really, the freezer. All, yeah, they're always really interested in it because. It's something I don't, for some reason, I don't know why it, it doesn't seem to be out there. It's not common knowledge, but it's, it's dead straightforward. It works. It's cheap. So yeah. you know, basically we've, we've got a, if you take the fact that the rest of our system was already there, we've got like a 12 volt compressor fridge for what it's cost us for this, which is 60 quid. And I think whenever I bought this, this was £2.92. Uh, and everything else was in place, so for 62. And two chocolate block connectors. Yeah, and so, you know what I mean, for 62 quid, 63 quid then. Uh, say know, say 64, because the chocolate box. We, 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 <laughs> we, we, we've got a really efficient cooling system that works for us. Yeah. All right, happy days. All right, lots of love. Take care.